Anyway, tomorrow's our second match, facing off against Baofeng. After that, we have a jam-packed schedule for the next two days before the third round starts. So here's a message from our dear maintenance team to all of us. For the love of God, don't wreck the machines. You heard them, guys. You better be real careful about crashing into dummy buildings. <laughs> With that out of the way, I expect Lieutenant C, the team leader, is going to give us some trouble. あの一番機に突っかれた下手に回避すると光栄の射線場に飛び出しちまうって寸法だ。対人類戦にも相当慣れてる動きだぜ。チキネンドはどうやって撃つのかわからない。格闘戦技能、狙撃能力ともに文句
所詮アルゴスはソ連の全財を<笑>気にしてるわけないでしょこっちは統一総軍司令部の意向に沿って徹底的に完膚なきまでに戦い意向って来るべき有事に備え日本帝国次期主力機の性能を丸裸にせよだからよ命令である以上きっちり締めてやんなきゃダメでしょうが覚えてなさいよ<笑>やっぱ屈辱だったんだうるさいあんなの別の土俵で勝ち逃げでしょ<笑>私は絶対認めないですよね思い知らせてやりましょうあんたたち今日は覚悟しときなさいよ出撃準備了解ユーヤブリッツス見極めさせてもらうわよあんたの実力セプテンバー十四。ーチークショー I hate to do it mainly because I'm doing it to myself Oh, right as the music's kicking in. It's unfortunate. But unfortunately, I do have to end this recording session here. I know this next upcoming section is probably going to be fairly lengthy. Alright, I, I, I gotta call it here for today. But, um. But, yeah, no. Um. Looking forward to what comes next. Once again, I'm still not like totally drawn in to、uh, the story. Mainly because I don't know what, like, I don't know where it's going. I don't know entire. Like, I see the drama that's building up, but I'm just having trouble seeing where it's going, what it's all leading to. I think that's what's preventing me from getting, like, really excited about it. Is the fact that I can't see where it's going. The fact that I have no idea, like, what the, the end game is here. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think just being. Like, if I had some idea, right? If I had some idea of where we're going. Not even knowing exactly, but just some inkling of an idea. Maybe I'd be more invested into it. But. I don't know. Like I said, like, what's really. Keeping me involved is like the specific characters, the arcs the characters are going through, more so than the overall plot of it. Yeah, I've definitely warmed up to Yui a bit.、Uh, you know, now that she's realized she has feelings for Yuya, then that's, that's once again, that's a moment I'm waiting for. Like I said, I was spoiled very early on, way before this game even came out, about you know, the connection between Yuya and Yui. So I'm very interested to see how that information comes to light. Very interested. Especially, you know, it seems every passing moment she's falling more and more in love with him. So once that twist comes around, it's gonna be like, oh, I really wanna see the fallout from that, because that's, that's gonna be interesting. And also, like, you kinda guess just from the main menu screen, but just from the jump that they were trying to build up a relationship between Krishka and y- Yuya here. I'm not feeling it personally. It's not something I'm heavily invested into. Like, ooh, I wonder what's gonna blossom between these two. And me, I'm a romance nut. I love romance stories. That's my shit. I love that. But I'm just not feeling it here. Like, if it weren't for, you know, the twist concerning Yui, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, Yui, that's great. Or even, like, either of the two Argus members, Teresa or, sh- uh, not Sharon. Stella, there we go. Teresa or Stella, I'd be like, okay, yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd be interested to see like, something develop there, because I like that vibe there. Hell, even Chinese Miku here. Like, the way she was she was talking to Yui about, like, you don't understand the pain he's gone through. I, I know about his experience. I know what that feeling's like. We have a shared pain. We understand each other's past. Like, you know, when she started talking like that, I'm like, you know, I could, I could see something there, right? I could definitely see something there. But Krishka is like the last one where I'm like sitting here, I'm like, I don't feel it. Like, like it's an interesting plotline of like these two, yo, know, colliding nations 
and one you know one person on each side and like somehow they come together I, like I like the setup of it but I'm just I'm not feeling it they haven't quite gotten me you know feeling it I think it's just because thus far I haven't really I don't really care about the Scarlet Twins all that much like Enya has not given me the same vibes that Cosme has like when I played through alternative like Cosme was like my little baby girl I'm like gotta protect Cosme that's that's my girl all right protect gotta protect that's that's my I'll do anything to protect this small child I love her Enia creeps me out <laughs> I, don't, I don't like Enia I don't okay I don't dislike her but I'm like mm -hmm. she doesn't give me like the sweet bean I want to protect vibes she's more just like this is a creepy child like if this were some kind of horror movie I'd suspect her of being like you know the Antichrist or something like I don't like the way she looks at me. It's very unnerving. So I guess I haven't really... I don't know, I don't... I haven't built up a, a like for the Scarlet Twins yet. I feel it's kind of unfortunate because what, we're seven chapters deep now? And I still am just like, ha, I don't really like them that much though. Like, they're being built up to be like th these very important characters that are definitely going to play a major role later on. I'm just like... But do I care though? No. <laughs> no, I definitely don't. But, like I said, I am going to end this recording session here. I'm very excited to jump into our fight with Chinese Miku and our squadron when I come back. But, for now, it's either going to be a quick jump cut or a new video. But, regardless, I'll see y'all in the next one. And until then, peace. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to more Mob Love Alternative Total Eclipse. Remember how in the last recording session I started off about yo know, ranting the fact that there was no CG gallery available during the game, you had to wait till you finish the game to access it. And remember how I mentioned how yo know, it was possible that hypothetically speaking someone could, you know, go looking for the CGs elsewhere and potentially spoil themselves on major story events? Be crazy if that happened, right? <laughs> It'd be wild. Thanks, Ajay. Appreciate you. Anyway, where we left off, uh, what? They were starting like the big. There's, there's clearly some big intense shit happening. Obviously, you can tell by the music. Uh, I think we're do it. It's the fight against the Chinese. Obviously, my backlog is gonna tell me shit because I just loaded the file. I think that's what we're doing. I don't remember the exact circumstances. I think we're fighting the, the Bao Fang, the Chinese team. I think that's what we're doing. I don't know, I guess we'll just jump into it and find out. Earth 2, and I mean coming from the south. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have you now. Do you? We'll get too cocky, homie. <laughs> Even a veteran like Teresa needs time to adapt to the subtle difference between flying a TSF in the simulator and in actual combat. Very good at done quickly though, or else that slight mismatch will spell doom for her. Shit! Yeah, that bitch bouncing off the walls and shit. Understood. Confirming intersection coordinates. <laughs> but our plan's going down the drain now. Do they land and switch over to silent running mode? Damn it. They're leading us by the nose. In the end, we were the ones who fell for their trap. 
We have two enhanced models, and that should give us an edge, but still. Still, a switch to the Active Eagle means we have fewer guns available. And Teresa's still, Teresa still struggling to get a full grip on Unit 2. Honestly, I'm starting to worry. No point in whining about our current situation, though. We gotta adapt as soon as we can. Trial by fire and all that. Sounds like something she'd do, yeah. Teresa was right on the money. <laughs> just like I was during my days in the US Army. Ready to take on the world, all by my lonesome, and then reach the top. That suits me just fine. Running subplan Omega. That savage seaweed threw down the gauntlet, and I'm more than happy to pick it up. Come on then, Lieutenant C. Can't say I hate strong women. True. You're having fun, huh? The more selfish you are, the more willing you are to steamroll friends and foes alike on your way to the top. Not like I'm judging, mind you. Been there, done that. See, Yife, I'm right over here. Silent mode again. Well now, thought you were the impulsive type. You can keep your urges in check. Guess you need all the shrewd tricks you can you can learn to survive on the Asian front lines. Frankly, I thought that sassy seaweed would be much more aggressive and straightforward. Gao Da or Bao Fang, they're both pretty good at this dogfight thing. But guess what? That's not enough to take me down. Yui wouldn't be phased by this either. Let's not even talk about Teresa. Yeah, yeah, I won't even dare think of another woman. <laughs> oh, that's great. I knew you'd come. What? She purged the assault cannons. Oh, is that how you want to play it? You're on. Okay. Charging straight at me. <laughs> God damn. She's one hell of a pilot. Almost had me for a second. She's 90 meters away, no place to take cover, and all we've got in hand are our long blades. This is gonna be good. I'd rather eat a bullet than let you take the win. Ah! Shit, that thing's heavy. God damn it! Those fucking slashes have way too much force behind them. I eat one and I'm going down for the count. Can't cross swords there again, or I'll have to kiss my long blade goodbye. In terms of dogfighting capabilities, it's painfully obvious Yifei has the upper hand. But, all my life I've been walking on the racer's edge. I do my best work under pressure. Bring down foes much stronger than myself, story of my life. So I went from an unwanted mixed race kid to the, an undeniable elite pilot. You're not my executioner, you're just my latest victim. Here I come! Damn it, what's she going for now? Son of a bitch, I knew I should have done extra training with the freaking long blade. What am I acting all overconfident for? My negligence could have cost us this battle.
flaunting your moves. Oh, you're going to keep toying with me. So indirect thought control can give you this much of an edge if you're well trained, huh? I won't surrender ever. It might take me down. You will walk away unscathed. Sorry for copying you, Lieutenant Takamura, but playtime's over. The fastest way to take her down is to steal from the best. <laughs> Her TSF's off balance. She's wide open. Eat this! Oh! Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Guess so. My entire body feels sluggish. I hope it's not my internal organs hemorrhaging. <laughs> Bao Feng lost one TSF with two others taking minor damage. Two of Argus's machines took minor damage and the other two were heavily damaged. But we didn't lose a single TSF. We could have lost by points if I didn't take down the commander's craft. なんて飲みに行く気分じゃねえわな、実際。手越えとは思っちゃいたが、ぶっちゃけここまで攻めきれねえなんて思いもしなかったぜ。そうね。見積もりが甘すぎたわ。バオフェンズがつい注意で持っ
You phase physical coordination, you direct thought control, you have brain waves and muscle response. Fuck it, I'm never gonna find the answers just sitting on my ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> Goober's pissed. Attention! At the time, Gravus to Infinity's no Tyson Kick Kakatoi. Mm hmm. Eastern European Socialist Alliances. What? Is that Russia? <laughs> the Eastern European Socialist Alliances? Kitaka. Score of Pyosri. Grabs. Gekitsi Yong. Infinities no Sunga Yua. Zero. Now, Jokyoga Cactus Rumad no Shoyoji can wear Yompund. Yeah, damn.